Well, let's talk about gas prices that rise fueled by uncertainty, of course, over the Russian invasion. Though there is a sliver, if you've seen it, a sliver of good news as prices have dropped a tiny, tiny bit here. According to AAA, the national average is down to 4.24 a gallon. That number was seven cents higher a week ago. The average price in Oregon right now is 4.71 and 4.73 in Washington. That's a slight drop in both states from last week. But don't get too excited because crude oil has actually been up over the last week. So one idea to save Oregonians some money at the pump, how about temporarily suspending the state's fuels t fuel tax? That's set at 38 cents a gallon again in Oregon. But the governor's office says that's a tricky proposal because the tax is a major contributor for the State Department of Transportation and for city budgets. ODOT says suspending it would likely hurt more than it helps. Pretty shortly, ODOT and all the cities and counties that rely on the gas tax as one of their major funding sources could, could run into some challenges. For some of us, that could mean the money we have available just to keep the, the roads open and safe day to day with our maintenance forces out there. Uh, that money could run short pretty quickly. There are always trade-offs. Georgia and Maryland, by the way, have temporarily paused their gas taxes, but there's no indication that's going to happen here in Oregon. As prices have gone up, gas-related thefts seem to have increased, too, and thieves are often targeting bigger vehicles, in particular like U-Haul trucks. They'll drill holes into the tank and use buckets to collect the gas. One business in Lebanon that has U-Haul trucks for rent says it's a headache for them and customers. All of our trucks have been vandalized. Every single one of them. U-Haul has to have their mechanic come out, their mobile mechanic. They come out, they fix it, but still it's on empty. That mobile mechanic does nothing else but fix the tank. Um, and then another representative, and it's usually Ruther, has to come out and um, gas it up and make sure it's ready to go. The business says it has installed an electric fence and new cameras to try to deter the thieves.